Mm, that should be good. Are we good? Do you guys hear me? I think I had the wrong microphone set up before, and I was on the wrong channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just have to change this um, this comment thing. Um, it does not look like I can. That's all right. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is nice and warm. It is absolutely beautiful in sunny Florida. I love tearing up them streets on that Diavel. Just had to take a little bit of ride. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you just want to give it a cruising for a bruising. That's exactly what I did. Well, the reason why that I did, the reason why I did this stream is because I wanted to answer a couple questions that I keep getting asked. And, um... And I keep getting uh, told otherwise. Now, usually I don't adhere to trolls because I absolutely love them. You know, they're a form of motivation for me. You'll realize that my garbage can is actually in the garage. Now, the reason why I have this in the garage, do you, I don't even, do you even see me? Is the, do I have the right camera selected? Hold on. Yes, I do have the right camera selected. I have to make this larger. I do not see my stream. There we go. Okay. So, the reason why that I have my garbage inside of the stream right now, I was going through the comments of, uh, first off, I find it super fascinating that people are now commenting on um, the video where I was throwing stuff out. First off, a couple of these comments took a little bit to respond. I do apologize. I have this huge sun flare in my face. So um, I, I do apologize for squinting. But a couple of things I want to clear up. I was not going to do the stream, but as I was going through the comments while I was trying to poop this morning, I said some of these comments I absolutely have to respond to because they're fantastic. L let's go with the one that's pretty old. People said that my garbage can, I did that for views. No, I didn't. But uh, let's also be clear of what YouTube is. YouTube is a platform, just like TikTok, just like Facebook, just like Instagram. All these platforms are designed for one sole purpose and one sole purpose only. That is to get views. That is to upload content for people to watch, for you to either enjoy, dislike, uh, hate, make videos on. But the idea is to create content. And me dumping out the stuff that I dumped out, I think was last month ago or a month and a half ago, and I'm still getting comments on it. Like, oh, you could ship it to me, where I'll pay for shipping. First off, if it took you this long to realize that um, I was throwing that shit out, you prove my point, is that people ask for things and then they were not either A, willing to pay for the shipping, B, not willing to pay for the product, or C, it could be a combination of one of these, or it could be just one bot itself, or just did not pay attention to the channel. Well, I get it, I stopped vaping. Well, then what the hell are you worried about? Free products for but one of the comments were that my garbage can in my garage is fake because there was nothing in it so you're telling me because i have a clean house <laughs> just to make sure we're clear here because i have a clean house uh, and a clean garage my floor is extremely scratched up uh but because i have that that means that it's fake my first off, let's just be clear. Here's my garbage can, okay? This is my garbage can from my garage. This is not the same garbage can that is outside where the garbage from inside of the house goes. This is for all the stuff. You know, I don't eat sandwiches or pizza or tuna sandwiches or, or chicken wings inside of my garage, so they're not going to go inside of this garbage. Therefore, that means that the garbage is going to be pretty fucking clean. Um, I mean, there is some shit in there, but that is that a lizard? Um, there, that is a garbage, and it is a garbage that I use inside of my garage. The fact that people think that this is fake, I got nothing, bro. I got nothing. I, li I literally have nothing. It's not a fake garbage. Second of all, uh, go back to what I was just saying about people were saying, well, if I knew that you were getting rid of all this free stuff, why would you? You could tell how much this irritates me, right? Because people just don't fucking pay attention. If you're getting rid of all this stuff and you didn't pay for it, why not just send it to somebody? Okay, let me let me tell people how this goes, okay? Now, I know that this is going to offend some people, and that's totally fine. If I buy a shipping label, 
Okay, I, I, just, just, just wait, hold on a second before you go typing up a storm. Before I buy a shipping label, do you know who gets taxed on that shipping label and how those write-offs work? No, you probably don't. So when you have a business and I buy, let's just say 500 shipping labels, okay, 500, we're not talking about five, we're not talking about 10 because that's not really that big of a deal. When you have 500, right, those rates fluctuate. So sometimes those rates go down, sometimes those rates go up, but in, in a year's time, they usually, usually go up, but sometimes they go down depending on the type of shipping it is, whether it's small flat rate box. I don't want to get into too much detail, but I want people to understand this. If I am paying out of my pocket, just pay attention. You say, Jay, I'm going to pay for the shipping. Okay. The shipping is $10. Let's just say that, um, you send me $10 and the shipping is $11. I foot the bill. Now, when I get that $10, right? When I get that $10 from you for, for me to ship it, do you know what I have to do? Well, at the end of the year, guess what? Me getting that money from you counts as income. Then I have to take all of the shipping labels that I created, okay? And then I have to counterbalance, say, okay, this is a write-off, this is a write-off, but you only have X amount of write-offs per year. Let's just be clear. And I'm not sending them to you as a business. I'm sending them to you as an individual. So it's not even like I could write those off as an individual because over X amount of money, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter if I'm buying 5,000 USPS labels. Either way, I'm still going to get taxed on that. Now, are you going to get taxed on you sending me $10? Nope. No big deal. You already taxed on that money because it was taxed to you and then you give it to me. That means that I'm now taxed on it because it's now income. It's the same thing as Patreon, patreon.com slash Jay Hayes. If you're looking for future products, go ahead and check that out. Moving forward, so when I create those labels, you might say, well, he's doing me a huge favor. First off, half of you fucking people don't even know me. Right? You just know me because you found a clip that I was giving shit away or throwing it away because I was tired of people saying that they want it and they didn't want to pay for it or they didn't want to pay for the shipping. Now, move forward. So I pay, I pay for those. I get those labels. I get it done. By the end of the year, they're like, yo, what, why did you buy 526 labels for? Well, I had a bunch of stuff that people wanted. Okay, well, we're only going to let you write off 300 of those. Anybody that does taxes, you, you know how that works, right? You can only write off so much. You, you can't write everything off. You, you have to pay taxes, especially when you're in a certain bracket. Regardless of how much you make, they're going to take. Okay, so that's that. Uh, number three, I I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember all these and tackle all of them. I hope that I'm in frame, yes. And then number three, something I, I really wanna focus on is there's a lot of people that are, there there's two Facebook groups that I'm aware of that people are saying that I'm a sellout, right? Okay, <laughs> I love this. It's like you, you just, that I'm a sellout and then I'm, I'm uh, what, is, what is the word? Uh, let, me look at the, let me look at the text, hold on. I think I'm a sellout and, oh, hold on. Oh, Jay Hayes Facebook page. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't find it right now. I have way too many messages. Uh, that I'm going to sell out over this Vupu XLIM thing. First off, I didn't even know that people were that <laughs> interested in this. Um, let's be clear. Vupu paid me to do that review. Do you see how I did that? I just told you right out, the, right out the gate. Did OXVA pay me for that review? Nope. Which one did I feel was better? The Vupu. I've always liked Vupu. But apparently, people don't know that because they just started following my channel, so I'm a sellout. Um, I remember I'm the same guy about five years ago, four years ago, made a video about how to fix Vupu PMP calls. Same dude. So it's, it's, it's known, right? Next thing I want to clear up is people said my beard needs to be lined up. First off, this is the beard that I always have. There is no line up. This white trash look, I've always had it. Just like certain people have mullets because they don't know about fucking hairstyles. I don't know about beard styles. This is what I'm working with. So stop judging how I look. People are always wor worried about like what you're doing. Send me your product. Send me this. Do this. Do that. I don't want to pay this. And another thing. Someone asked me the other day. God, there are so many. Someone asked me the other day. said, man, that Bomber Tech GTX that you did a review on, I'd like to buy that for $100. I can't help you. 
why can't you help me? Because it's not enough. Well, it's mass-produced Chinese piece of shit. Well, if it's so mass-produced and a Chinese piece of shit, why can't you find it for someone else then? Why, did, why are you coming to me for it? Because I, you know, whatever, whatever he said. But if it was a Chinese piece of shit and mass produced, you wouldn't be willing to pay top dollar for it. You're not even trying to pay retail for it. A lot of the stuff that's on the wall is not even meant to be vaped. It is quite literally collector's items. That's what they are. And I, I understand some people don't get that because you use pods and you use disposables and throwaways. You don't use actual hobbyist devices. Then I, I don't know. You might have probably found my channel through, um, I, I, I guess, uh, if you're a recent subscriber, you probably found it through pods or some shit. You didn't find it through the hobbyist side. A lot of the people on the hobbyist side either stopped vaping, went back to smoking cigarettes, realized how much money they were spending, so they, they, got, out, they got out of that bracket as well. But um, a lot of the people that find me now apparently know nothing about my channel. Like, nothing at all. And, well, I don't expect you to go back and watch all of my previous videos. But everybody has a price. Everybody. Everybody. If, who was the company that I hated for so long? Vanny Vape. If Vanny Vape sent me a product and said, look, here's $50,000. Tell everybody that the product is good. I'm going to tell you right now. I would absolutely fucking do it. Yes. Because that's a business move. Right? Business is business because ain't nobody here fucking paying my bills. So, um, yes, I would do that for $50,000. For $5,000, no. See, let me tell you a little, little factual piece of information about me since you're probably just watching this now or you're watching this uh, whatever in the future when the video is uploaded. I had a video on this channel. Uh, it was from Vape Sourcing. Vape Sourcing was a terrible company. Now, if a lot of people that followed me would notice this, but let me just show you how honest of an individual I am. Vape Sourcing used to be on my channel because it was a, it was a, they did some dirty shit, man. Uh, I, I honestly, I can't remember quite what it was, but it was something shady. I bought something from them and then they never shipped it. And then when they did ship it, it took like five months and I could have got it from a local vape store or some shit like that. Or it was when I was running the business that didn't ship. Either way, I, I digress. It has nothing to do with the story. It has something to do with the video, but not the story. So uh, vape source and reach out to me. It was like, hey man, uh, what, you know, what do we got to do? Make, make it right. Nothing. Uh, video's up. That video's been up for, oh my God, I think 2017. Nobody watched it. You know, I might get one view, uh, one view a month, 10, 10 views a month, maybe, right? There'd be people that would still comment on it because I had bad shit going on with the, with the company. They reached out and they were like, hey, what do we got to do to remove it? I said, I'm not going to remove it. It's on the channel. You know, I start looking at the statistics and I'm like, well, ain't nobody fucking watching it. So I guess now I'm going to make some money off of it. Of course, they're bribing me or maybe they're making a contribution to the future president of the United States. I, I, I don't know. So uh, they said, well, we'll give you money for it. OK. I said, $8,000, I'll take the video down. $8,000, you take the video down. I said, yep, I'll wipe all copies of it. All of them. Eight grand. OK, what's your information? None. Just like that. How many people recognize that? Nobody. I bet you nobody fucking here knows that. Now, some hazers know that, but other people don't because you don't know me. So uh, what, what does that say? Does that mean that I'm shady? No, that means that nobody was fucking watching that video. And my, my videos are on YouTube to make money. That's what they're for, right? Any old videos, there's no point of them being here because all it does is hurt my channel. Right, I can't grow the channel, do any bikes, can't do the, if I do comedy on this channel, God forbid, people don't have a fucking sense of humor or a funny bone in their body, it's too much. Um, even though Inside the Minds had comedy and that was fine, it's just the newer people, but I digress. So that's how being honest is, right? So don't question whether or not my authenticity of doing a vape video is real or not, or am I getting paid? Do I get paid to say all the shit that I do reviews on? Absolutely, fucking lutely I do. How much do I get paid? Watch this. Well, depending on the product, can anywhere be between $150 to $1,200. See that? That's honesty, my friends. Honesty, that's business. That's big. Oh, yeah, you got to get a real job, bitch. I make more money in one fucking day doing a video than you do all week long. So don't talk to me about real job. If anything, I'm working smarter, not harder. 
So, but is it is it constant? Is it fluid? No. Is it enough to live off of? No. Is it side money? Sure. If you do enough of them, absolutely. You know what I wasn't making money on was those e-bikes, but people thought, of course, he's making money on those e-bikes. No, I'm not. They're not giving me any fucking money. They just give me the bike. And by the time that you sell that bike after you've done that review, you don't get you don't get fuck all for it. So all the time and the money that you spend on making that video, setting up the cameras, doing the drone footage, you know, you're talking six, seven hours of just shooting and then another six seven ten hours of editing yeah um it's not worth seven hundred dollars it's not i mean that's that's lower than minimum wage at least for that field at least for that field uh you know drone operators it's like a hundred dollars an hour how do i know because i have a drone license it's on this channel but um I don't think it's a matter of you questioning my integrity. I think it's a matter of what I decide to do with this channel is what I decide to do with it. As long as vape is available, I will continue to do vape videos because that's the one that gets the most amount of views. Just like if e-bikes were the ones that got the most amount of views, I would do the e-bikes. Like, it's common sense. The channel, the purpose of a fucking YouTube channel, I feel like I'm talking to idiots. The purpose of a YouTube channel... <clears throat> is just like everything else. You do the shit with your time, and if you could get rewarded with money, then that's a win. If you're spending all that time and making absolutely nothing, then it's not, a, it's, it's not worth your time. Unless, of course, you feel that you're worth $3 for a nine-hour video, then hey, you do you, bro. You do you. Um, let me just make sure I got, I, I, I'm checking all the boxes, getting it all cleared up. Mm. That's another one. Grim Army. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Um, I'm not... I just want to be clear here, too. This has got nothing to do with Grim. It, well, it, it kind of does. It's got to do with the people that follow him, but not him specifically. First off, sit the fuck down, bro. Not, not Again, not Grim. The people associated with it. You guys are corny. Like, you're corny. You take the video that, again, is old as shit, and you're still commenting on it, I think, yesterday. If it took you this long to fucking find out, you clearly don't know shit, okay? Because it's been so long since I've done that video, I totally forgot about it until someone else commenting on it. I'm not upset at Grimm because of what he is or his successfulness. No, I'm not. I don't give a shit about that. I don't give a shit about Mike Vape's successfulness. And I don't care about any vape review. Matter of fact, I don't give a shit about anybody's successfulness except for my friends. That's all I care about. I don't. And I also want to be clear about this. Just because you watch me does not make us friends. I get it. It's like my vape farewell. You live in a fantasy world where you think the people that are behind the camera are relatable and you're friends with them. If you were my friend, you would know more about my fucking life than thinking that I was upset in that Grimm video or that I'm a sellout or um, you, you would think about any of these before you would discuss them or, or even bring up some type of discourse about it. Nope. Nope. So we're not friends, man. We're, we're not. You fucking watch me and that's it. You're subscribed. L listen, listen. Do I appreciate you being subscribed to me? Sure. Does it mean anything? Nope. I appreciate that grasshoppers go from one patch of a grass to another. I appreciate if a snowball falls down a hill and it just gets big and then it hits somebody in the face and then it rolls them over and then they get up and they dust it off. Uh, I appreciate when me and my girl are knocking the boots and she squirts. Does that mean that I want that all the time? Nope. Does that mean that I love that? Well, I might love one, but I don't love the other. But just because I appreciate something doesn't mean that I want it. It just, I appreciate for holding the door open for me. Does that mean that I can't open the door? No, absolutely. <laughs> if I was in a wheelchair or I had one leg, I, that would make, but even then I could still open it up. Uh, people on YouTube, you think you're fucking subscriber. You being subscribed to me helps me in some type of way. You know how it helps me? Um, let me think. How does it help me? It's a bragging thing. Man, I got 50 more subscribers than you. <clears throat> you know, people all on my channel, Jay, you're getting fat. Jay, you're getting fat. Now that I'm 250 pounds, the same fucking weight that I was 
the same weight that I was back in uh, 2017. Ain't nobody saying shit no more. You know why? Because all those people that are mocking me are the fat fucks, and they don't want to show their body off. See, I could show this. This is what I've lost in the past uh, 46 days. See that right there? Right here? That's what I lost. How much did you lose? See, I find motivation in hatred. People usually don't like hatred. It's not good. It's not healthy. To me, I fucking love it. I thrive off of it like fuel. So the more bacteria and parasites that I get, the stronger I become. And I don't think people like that. Um, I don't. I don't. But um, I haven't stopped vaping. I haven't went back to smoking cigarettes as much as I desire that because I know how much weight I would shed if I did. I don't because I love vaping. And I continue to create vape designs, vape mods, um, releasing the JIO. Again, patreon.com slash jhaze. But even the people that were patrons giving me money, I expected friendship out of that. I was wrong. See, I, I can say that. I was wrong. Three hardest things for a man to say. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I was wrong. And Worcestershire sauce. Got it. Nailed it. Um, so I was wrong about those people, but they were just there for products. So just because you follow me, just because you give me money does not make us friends. I think that should kind of sum everything up right there. And that's even included to people that actually give me money. You think I'm just burning a lot of bridges? No, no, I'm just keeping it real. That's all. Just telling you how I feel. Just stop giving a fuck, you know? Um, I feel like if you, if you worry about, about people and worry about what they're doing and you're not focused on yourself, it's just self-destruct mode. Let me check these comments. It's been a minute. Oh. Sorry. You should do a podcast. I do do a podcast every morning. Twitch.tv slash J Hayes. Do a podcast every morning. Uh, I talk about shit like this. I talk about, I do, uh, I do have the outside of society, which is YouTube.com. If my moderator can go ahead and post that over in YouTube and Twitch, YouTube.com slash the official Jay Hayes or the real Jay Hayes. I think it's a, the real official Jay Hayes. I think that's the realest. That's the podcast one. Um, I do these podcasts. I, look, I love vaping. I do. But, you know, vaping ain't gonna last forever. Yeah, hopefully it comes back the way that it did, but it'll never be back to what it was in 2017. Nope. But, of course, when people see you progress to do something else other than what they love, it's just like if you do better than them, they get upset about it. So when people see you doing e-bikes on their videos uh, on their channel, of course, they get upset about it. I can see if I never rode a motorcycle or a bicycle on this. You guys remember? Oh, man, Jay, you're never going to lose weight doing e-bikes. 20 pounds later. And it ain't had shit to do with e-bikes, though. It didn't. It just got to do with discipline and not eating fucking garbage anymore. 2,000 calorie diet. 2,000 calorie diet. Every day. Um, zero discipline. Just eat whatever the fuck you want. Just don't go over 2,000 calories. But, yeah, I, I do the streams every morning. Apologize for this. Pretty violent garbage truck. Why would you wear a ski mask if you're picking up garbage? It's interesting. It's gross. I would never be able to do that shit. 
Oh God, smelling other people's trash. I mean, I, I don't mind smelling my trash. I just don't know if I'd be able to smell other people's. Baby diapers and shit, split pea soup, chicken nuggets. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, so I, yeah, I just wanted to kind of voice my opinion on those, kind of let it be heard, so I can kind of clear that up for people. Yeah, plus my trash is fake. Yeah, my trash. Oh, I got three down votes. You got a bunch of baby back bitches inside of YouTube. Oh, that's a fucking shame. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's the thing, Mark, man, is people watch these videos. I'm not, look, there's a personality behind the video. For what people subscribe to, there's no difference between me doing a live right now and saying this to you and then how I am in old videos. If anything, I was worse in old videos. I was nasty. I was abrasive as fuck. Mainly towards companies, not toward people, but the troll game... Uh, the, the troll game was, um, the troll game wasn't as, I don't want to say bad, uh, and then again, look, <laughs> I'm going to get more shit for this, that's okay, if you look at the type of people that are in the vape industry, and I'm not talking about people that went from smoking cigarettes or uh, that, that vape to keep themselves off of the stoves or whatever. I, I'm, I'm more referencing the, the white trash aspect of it. Because let's be honest here, right? You, you've seen rallies and shit, right? You've seen it. You've, you've seen it. So I, I really don't need to say much more than that. You... I'm, and again, I, look, I'm just being honest. That's what you like is honesty. You get a lot of people that, and then I used to get shit for being elitist because I like high end, but then that same fucking dude is the one that wants to buy the high end for like $50 and then wonder why he gets shot down. Um, but when you look at that, when you look at those people, it's a bad look. It's a, it's a bad look. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So you just fit in the key when you, uh, you just put the, you're the key inside of the lock, man. Uh, when you're doing a rally and you got a bunch of people up there looking like hobos and vagrants, usually people, when you got enough of money, that's what the vape industry should have done, is they should have took all those companies, all those big companies, Cutwood, who, which nobody gave shit, Candy King, uh, Triton Distribution, take all those companies, man, all those companies, and take those millions and millions of dollars and go pay somebody off, just like everybody else does. That's what happens. Nobody did that. Nope. So you had all the small people, which look, that's cool that they went to rallies. I was there with you. Um, but um, all the trolls and shit, it's all white trash. I'm telling you, all of them, every one of them, because they don't show the fucking cameras. They don't show their pictures. They just re hide behind an anonymous picture uh, just because they can. That's white trash. That's what it is. I, I don't need to see you to know what you are. I, you got potato chip crumbs on your on your shirt. You're about 455 pounds, nobody loves you, and you were just, I don't know, neglected as an adult, and you can't get pussy to save your life. That's what I get out of somebody that's been, but that, though, is what motivates me to become better. So I guess you have a use, you're part of the ecosystem, you're effective, it helps, thanks. Yeah, people just don't. You want to hear my opinion, but not when it's towards you. You want to hear it towards a company. But then I'm supposed to listen to your opinion when you comment down below on one of my videos. Yep. Yep. And for instance, look how many people are in my chat right now. And you have these other people that believe that the vape industry, like they just don't accept the future. That the vape industry is going to prevail and advocacy is going to help it out. No, the fuck it's not. You, you also have to remember, if you're just now watching this channel and before you comment, pay attention to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I own three vape stores in New Jersey. Three. All three. All three had to close. Why? Because advocacy failed me. I invested so much money into the NJ VRC. I invested money into Safada. I... What's the other one? Well, I bought the $5,000 silver banner shit. 
Oh my god. I can't remember it. I put a lot of money into advocacy, even into my state, federally, and what happened? My state failed me, right? And they told me I had to close my business. You have to close your business. It's illegal in New Jersey now. Yeah, yeah. I was on the news, remember? Fighting the good fight. People don't seem to remember that, though, just because they, I don't know, don't do any research. They just think that I fucking hate vaping. I love vaping. I love it. I feel like I've gained a lot of weight since I, it was since I started doing it, but I lose it. People are always going to hear what they want to hear and take what they want to take from what they hear. I'm not going to stop you. Just remember, I'll always be here. I'm not going anywhere and you can't get rid of me until I die. So whatever happens with this channel, you'll have to endure. Or you could unsubscribe. Either way, I don't feel like it's going to affect much of anything. You guys all stay beautiful. And remember that um, sex is optional.